Okay, so this video is all about true bearings. Now what it's really about is this word here, direction. Uh, let's say you're a guy and you want to walk in a certain direction or maybe someone wants to tell you, walk in this direction and you'll find like some treasure. They have to be able to communicate what direction you should walk in. That's what true bearings is all about. We're going to try to be quite accurate with our with our bearings because you don't want to end up here digging for your treasure when your treasure is actually here. Okay, so we start with this. North, south, east, west. These are our four cardinal directions, but it's quite crude. North, east, south, west. If this guy walks east, he's going to end up here. If this guy walks south, he's going to end up here. Neither of these are particularly useful for finding our treasure. We need him to walk exactly in that direction. So the way that we do it is using true bearings. Now the way to measure a true bearing is to start at north and turn clockwise. Always turn clockwise. Okay, so this guy here He's facing north, and he's going to turn clockwise until he's facing the treasure. Now, the angle here is the true bearing. Now, if I take a protractor and I measure that true bearing, that's about 120 degrees true. So if you say to that guy, if you walk on a bearing of 120 degrees true, you will run into some treasure. The way that he's going to figure that out is by facing north, turning 120 degrees, and walking. So, that's how a true bearing works. Now I'm just going to draw in some true bearings on a compass row so you can see it again. So let's choose four examples so you can see exactly how true bearings work. Here's our four examples. The first one is 60 degrees true. So if I'm a person, here's my person again, and I want to walk in the direction 60 degrees true, Start facing north, turn 60 degrees. Sixty degrees true. Again, if I'm a person and I want to walk 170 degrees true, I start here, I rotate 170 degrees. That's a little less than a straight line, a little less than 180. That line there is 170 degrees true. What would that look like physically? Facing north, turn 170 degrees, nearly east time facing the other way, and start walking. Okay, what else have we got? 230 degrees true. Start facing north, rotate, past 180, 230. So if it's 230 there and I've already gone 180, I have to go another 50. That's 50 degrees true in there, which means that the whole bit there is 230 degrees true. All right, we're making a real mess here, but hopefully you can see what we're doing. The last one, is 350 degrees true. I'll just do it on another compass rose. North, east, south, west. Here's my person. They start here. Facing north. 90, 180, 270. Nearly all the way through a whole circle. That would be 360. So I can go back a little bit, 10 degrees. That's 10 degrees in there. That's 80 degrees in there. 
that's 350 degrees true. Okay, so we've been talking about people walking from one place to another or walking from there to the treasure. We can also just find the direction that things are going in as well. That's true bearings. Remember the one thing to remember about true bearings is you start by facing north and then you turn clockwise until you go wherever it is that you need to go. Alright, that's true bearings.